Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. I hope you're having a super fabulous day. In this edition, we explore a rather small uh, Lance travel trailer, a Lance 1575. A very nice and easy to tow travel trailer. Its overall length is a little over 20 feet. The fresh, the gray, and the black tanks are all 26 gallons. Its cargo carrying capacity, 925 pounds. This is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. I'm at Western Campers in uh, Fort Worth, Texas. They sell uh, truck bed campers, travel trailers, specifically Lance truck bed campers and uh, travel trailers and other brands like uh, Evil by Forest River and they do pop-ups. They have a service department. As RV dealerships go, they only have about, I estimate, two, 30 units at this uh, location. They're one and only location, okay? So let's take a peek at a small Lance travel trailer. I like this one, it's small, easy to tow, I would think. Shouldn't be too heavy. Has a smart jack up front, an area for a propane tank. And uh, this area here, I tried to open it earlier, and of course, it's idiot proof, so I couldn't open it up. Here's some of the specs. One thing I like about my new uh, DJI Pocket 2 is that it's pretty good at de you know, close ups. So this was built at 820. Very nice. I think that's the water pump. It's just a sure flow, and there's some of the tools. Nicely laid out. And right here is the battery disconnect. And right there's something. I think that's a light. And uh, some tools laying around that should be somewhere. And there's a little door right over there hiding that you can access somewhere. There's the Truma hot uh, water heater, exterior shower. I'm pretty sure this is your 30 amp connection. Yep, that's your 30 amp. And that should be uh, your antenna. Let's see if I can open this up. Oh, by the way, we're by a jet, you know, an Air Force base. Might be the Navy. I get confused. Nice storage area. This goes all the way across. We can put quite a few items in here. Of course, you have magnetic uh, holes on this. And you just drop it like that. And you lock it like that. I didn't do a very good job on that one. Let me just do it again. That's a lot better. Let me back up so you can see the graphics. This is an option on these units. There's a lot of options on Lance's. After a while, it starts adding up to real money, you know that? So that's a nice uh, window there. Those uh, plastic windows are very nice. It has a Schwintec uh, slide mechanism. It goes quite a ways and has these bumpers. Do you like those bumpers? No bumper for your slinky, slinky, slinky. Here's the graphics again and the awning. It's a nice awning. I really like this awning. And again, uh, excuse the jet planes flying over here. So what do you think of the graphics? Pretty nice, huh? This has the Goodyear Endurance tires. Nice rims. This area opens up over here, but it's locked. That's uh, your 110 and some other access there. This right here is where you can put a TV. It has a little puck. And this is model number 1575. 
1575. And right here's where you can put your stinky slinky. Right there. And this is the other side of the pass through storage. Again, please excuse the jet flights overhead. Those are the military jets. And we have a base here. We have base Richard Falls. There's quite a few bases. You can punch in your numbers there and access this uh, travel trailer. Nice little uh, grip here. Aluminum steps. So we're now inside the RV. Here's a Norcold uh, DC, AC, DC, apparently three way fridge. Typically, uh, DC propane AC fridges are very inefficient. Uses a lot of uh, DC juice. Uh, because they're designed to move around that ammonia and DC doesn't do a very good job of it. There's some storage here. It's a nice little closet. So there's a shroom of water heater and right here is the information about the DC fridge. It says to initiate 12 volt refrigerator operation. Turn switch on. Turn it on. And here's a view of the ceiling, the air conditioner, the skylight, and the puny fan. There's a window, it pops out pretty good. Let's get a close up. You have some controls here. You can close it, and this pops out in this plastic, so it's very nice. They have the Roadster interior. I don't know what color is this. The Roadster is typically brown. Maybe this is the blue Roadster. So it's blue with this uh, gray trim. Got some corner storage there. A big, big, big window there. And a corner storage there. And of course you have the under seat storage. Let's let me open this up. So you got some nice storage. It goes back a uh, good uh, two feet. So you get in cabinet heating. You can see the vent right there. And what's this down here? It looks like something that pops out. Let's open it up. Oops. Very nice. Some more storage. Perfect. So it pops down. Oops. Makes a little bit of noise too. What's over here? It has a little door. Is this a sliding door? Yes. It's just a regular door, but it's a little tiny door. Let me show you the knob here. It's a little... Pretty interesting. So we got a tiny little bath. That's a good size. You get a little toilet. A Thetford toilet. You get a mirror. There I am. The ugliest man in the world. And you get a little tiny vent up here. Of course, you can always replace that with a Max Air or a Fantastic Fan. And right over here, right over here, is the uh, alternating current you can connect to. And this is very interesting. It sort of moves around. You can move this out further or move it in further. And it has this uh, interesting material. So there's the uh, controls and the wand. What kind of toilet is this? Plastic for sure. I don't know. And then I have a little something down here. These are questions you can ask your RV dealership. Let me stay in on this thing. Oh. So here I am inside. Got plenty of room right about here goes to about here so it's good to about six foot one and then within the thigh here you can probably go another you know three four five inches what do you think this uh does this open up i do not know it has these little it looks 
like it opens up, but I'm afraid to open up because I'll probably break it. And I'll have to pay for it. A little skinny wall there, a little teeny skinny wall. So this has a three burner cooktop. A little res uh, nice little oven. There's a fuse box. You got some storage down there. Let me open it up. Very nice. You have these little slide out plastic trays. You can take them out and wash them at any time at your leisure. You can take them to a picnic table or wherever you're at, at the resort. And this is the, this thing looks like it's missing one of these. So, something they'll have to fix at the dealership. It says there it's priced for $36,795. With discounts originally priced 42 something and there's your uh, microwave it's a high point not a hot point I always get those confused high point and hot points uh, and you can put a pre-wired Bluetooth speaker right there there you can check your tank levels and your lights there and then you have this right here these smaller uh, travel trailers are easy to review because there's not much to <laughs> not a lot of storage nice high quality uh, hinges hidden hinges and there's your stereo system your audio system your blu-ray system and your awning control and your exterior lights very nice and an area there for your keys and of course your fire extinguisher. Let's open up the um, sink top. This looks like a plastic sink. Not a big fan of plastic sinks. This is a sealed membrane countertop. It has this uh, sort of uh, oiled rub bronze sort of uh, look. Very nice. It's a nice contrast against this right here. An area for your TV, plenty of receptacles and connections, uh, antenna connections, DC connections. Uh, alternating current connections, and here's the bracket. And of course, all these windows, every single last one of them opens up. You can open wide, a little bit, a lot. I'm not gonna play with them because I don't wanna break them. Sign. And there's your controls for your air conditioning, if I remember correctly. Slide out room in and out. Nice little uh, pillows they give you, little tiny decorator accent pillows. I would get some real pillows. And right here is a tight shot of the material. Let me see down here. You have some storage and this accesses your, you know, your pass-through storage. This. Let me see if there's anything under here. Basically, a piece of wood. Okay. Let me sit down. Wow, this is a small little travel trailer, but it's convenient if you got the uh, small, uh, good size SUV. You should have a problem. Small truck with a V6 or something like that. No problem. This is a piece okay to tow. You can tow it. No issues. So this has been a Susman with Managaras. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to grow this small channel of mine. And if you have the time, please leave your kind and super friendly comments below, way below in the comment section. And finally, so this has been a Susman with Menagarza. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page, Patreon slash jmmgarza.com. Patreon.com, rather, slash jmmgarza.com. From Fort Worth, Texas, at Western Campers. They're the nicest people over here. They're super nice and very professional. There. The lady in charge is incredibly gracious. I bring my students here, my RV uh, students here, so they can check out the campers and learn a little bit. My RV 101 class. Again, from Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.